In today's Insight, we focus on artificial intelligence, the concept developing computers so they behave like humans. This is just one example of how AI is playing out. Here's a football game played entirely by robots. It's one of the inventions featured at this week's Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence Conference. The event in Texas is in its 29th year, bringing together scientists from around the world to promote AI research. Supporters of AI say it holds a lot of promise in a wide field, including medicine and education. But some are warning research needs to be reined in. Recently, renowned scientists and researchers warned of AI's potential dangers to humanity. CCTV's Mark New explains. They are essentially algorithms inspired by the way neurons work in the human brain. But artificial intelligence and its branch called deep learning have evolved so quickly in the past few years that scientist Stephen Hawking warned the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Technology tycoon Elon Musk said, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Imagine a machine with a full range of human emotion. Hollywood is finding artificial intelligence, or AI, a gold mine for material. In the recent movie Transcendence, a scientist's drive for AI leads to the uploading of his consciousness. Keep going, keep going. In the award-winning film Her, a writer falls in love with an operating system fueled by AI. You're dating a computer? She's not just a computer. In Silicon Valley, venture capitalists are also falling for AI, with numerous startups pushing the bounds of the field. Neuroscientist and computer scientist Naveen Rao founded his company Nirvana, which seeks to build a platform for AI to solve real-world problems. We're actually able to exceed human capabilities on a number of different problems already, new problem areas like image uh, categorization. So that's kind of a problem that we would usually say humans are very good at and machines are bad at. But now we're actually doing better with machines than we are with humans. Uh, I suspect in the next 10 or 15 years, humans are, are going to be losing at most of these tasks. <laughs> Rao says the computer is still a long way from thinking like a human, especially lacking the ability to estimate or integrate multiple senses. But Rao believes AI can someday revolutionize medicine. For instance, a doctor reading an x-ray or reading a, uh, an MRI, we can apply that same level of expertise. That doctor that took 25 years to train um, and to get good at that image analysis, we can actually encapsulate that into a computer and apply that to everyone. Here in Silicon Valley, big tech companies like Google and Facebook have invested heavily in artificial intelligence. In fact, both companies have hired pioneers in the field of AI to lead their research. Add to that list Chinese internet company Baidu, which has created an AI lab in Silicon Valley, headed by Stanford professor and former founder of Google's deep learning project, Andrew Ng. One of M's students is Richard Socher, who shortly after finishing his PhD, raised $8 million in venture capital funding for his AI startup, Metamind. Socher vastly expanded a concept called recursive neural network, which allows for better understanding of language, and in this case, sentiment. A recursive neural network tries to understand the grammatical structure of the sentence, realizes that indeed, you know, caring and cleverness and wit, these are all positive things, but once you say the movie doesn't care about it, then it puts a very high probability on this actually being a negative sentence. There's no conscience uh, in any of these algorithms at all. So I think that fear is definitely unwarranted. Really tough ones to crack um, are in natural language understanding. So irony or sarcasm is a very tricky bit if you want to get to a very high level. Metamind has taken the unusual step of making deep learning available to anyone on its website. Just upload a data set of photos, and Metamind has learned to classify them instantly with near human accuracy. Personally, I would never want to work on you know, using natural language understanding to you know, more efficiently spy on people or using computer vision to try to automatically track targets and then try to shoot them. That being said, it is a general purpose technology, and as such, anybody can you know, try to use it and apply it to different things. But I do think it's good to have ethical standards for sort of the near-term realistic applications, for instance, in military or medical applications. One big concern is whether AI will replace human jobs, something Professor Ken Goldberg says is already happening as computers better recognize speech. There are a lot of jobs being lost in call centers. And uh, I think that, again, that there's so many things that humans are still going to be very, very needed for. 
and that human interaction, that ability to communicate, that ability to pick up subtle nuances, to, um, to make judgment calls. There's still plenty of work for humans to do. For now, it's widely believed the major tech companies have humans using AI to work on predicting what customers want before they even think of it. A surefire bet for making money. But startups like Nirvana and Medivine cite medicine and agriculture as two areas that excite them most. They believe in deep learning's potential to accurately diagnose disease and maximize food production, far more than predictions of AI making human thought obsolete. Mark New, CCTV, Mountain View, California.